Welcome back to another PCT Short. I'm Jonah Johnson. So as we're entering the late August here of 2024, I want to keep a couple reminders in front of you that as we get into next week, a lot of temperatures are going to go back up in the high 90s. And I just want you guys to be cautious and be aware of how fast our crop is going to mature here over this next week. We're already, majority of Ohio is under some type of drought stress, whether you're actually in the classified area or not. Uh, you know, South Central into Eastern Ohio is under severe drought now into the red category, the D3. And so a lot of crop is maturing very, very quickly, especially in our cornfields. It's not in common this year as the nights are getting longer. Soybeans are starting to flash and change. So one thing I want you to a call out is, is just don't assume it's either one that maturity to change yellow. If it's SDS, let's dig up those plants and see if it's red crown rot. We talked about that in previous videos, the importance of knowing if we have that. Uh, but most of all, in our corn standability and longevity this year, a lot of places in Ohio is going to have corn that's going to mature like this, and it may premature die. So be have your yield monitors calibrated very well this, this fall as we go. There's already been some murmurs of harvest starting in some parts of Ohio because corn just died because it had no water for the last two months, essentially. So you want to make sure you're, you, you know the standability, the quality of what's out there. Go out there, do stand checks, do you know, stalk quality checks, pinch those stalks because I don't want this to be the crop to remain out there too long and it become a real challenge to encapsulate with harvest this fall. Because where we have those fields that corn has died prematurely and now it's browning and quickly um, maturing, uh, the grain quality is going to be poor, test weight is going to be poor, and we're going to have to be cognizant of how to handle that potentially dry that if a necessity, and then how to store that going this fall, especially if you have grain on farm array that you've not uh, sold and moved off farm. And we don't want to in integrate that into your corn that you've had array because that may make, make overall storage quality even more poor. So um, be cognizant, check those bins, get that corn off your farm because of what's coming in here because we may have to handle that special uh, going into this fall. So for more, follow us on pctnutrients.com. I'm Jonah Johnson. Thanks for watching.